this out. So long story short, we pull into this gas station, we hear a popping noise. Fresh as hell, new wheel. <laughs> Dry ride in this city. Okay, this one's not leaking. Let her eat. Oh, I torque it. All good, son. Y'all alive, y'all dead. Both? Both. Alive and dead. Tito! How was the trip up? I heard you guys broke some shit. It was pretty boring. All right. Except yeah. for that part. <laughs> Dude, right when you get out of Denton, yeah. it's the same, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, that's a field. And then you get all the way here. Oh, it's a field. So this is my fourth time to be here. First time came up, won the race. Second time came up, won the race. Third time came up, we introduced Adrian to the team. We had multiple problems. I hit the wall. We lost the race. I think, what, something around uh, COVID or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then we ended up uh, not coming up for a few years. So now we're back for the fourth time. Two belts, one missing. Alright, so guys, let's rock, walk through the track real quick. I'm gonna run the blue. So what we're gonna do, starting line, from what I know, you gotta pace your lane. So you wanna pace, 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 and then you get the green light. So you floor it. Coming down, enter in, your three, two, ones, enter in early. Outer zone one, gotta have good transition timing here to drive into outer zone two. Again, good transition timing to drive into outer three. And then you gotta ride this whole wall, dude, all the way outside to the end. This is the same uh, layout that we won twice at, so. I like it. Hopefully we can do pretty well. Friday, whole entire practice day. Damn, dude. Gates open, tech inspection, practice. Damn. Practice. Saturday, uh, competition. Cause three Chip people. draw. Oh, and then practice session. That's right, so we don't even qualify here. There's no qualify? It's a chip draw. Oh, you draw sucks. chips. Oh. You literally like go draw so a number. So technically everyone's already in. Yeah, technically everyone qualifies. Oh. I hear they got 40 drivers out here. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, so it should be cool. <laughs> we did, I don't know Tito if you heard, but we did have some issues with the water pump failure. Oh, yeah. So remember at AMP, Atlanta Motorsports Park, where the car got super hot? Turns out that water pump failed on us, so uh, Dude, they overnighted a water pump like the day y'all left, basically. Crazy. Ew, dude. <laughs> <There's no way. laughs> We're about to go to a driver's meeting. So Friday, North Dakota, 10K. Today's literally just uh, practice and qualifying. Y'all will see later in the video, we're gonna draw chips out of a bag for qualifying. So it's probably like the least pressured 10K event. You know what I mean? So basically no qualifying. Today's all practice. Hopefully we can just get some really rad tandem footage. Stay off the K rails long enough until we need to be on the K rails. But yeah, let's go to the driver's meeting. I noticed up there they had that championship belt. Did you see that thing? Uh, yeah, you gotta check that out, dude. Oh, Be pretty cool, man. Bunch of locals. We're out here in a cool track. Cornfields all around us. You nervous, man? Nah, but come look at this belt. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> so we haven't even spun a lap here. We haven't even done practice yet. We just did the first driver's meeting, and now we're about to draw chips and uh, know exactly where we're gonna qualify. So without driving, we're about to qualify. My approach to this, I did this a year ago or whatever. I'm gonna wait till the shit ends. I want the last chip to see what the universe is gonna give me. So I'm just gonna stand here until these boys go through this line and we'll see what chip we get. I haven't. Oh, you're doing the. I'm oh, you're doing the. Chance me and papers. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm lucky number 21. So good luck with that. Oh, okay, okay. You're the last one. Last one? You're the last one. You got each chip. Yeah, All right, Mike, what have we got? Sixth. Six, Wait, yeah, sixth. Right? Six. Yep. No, no, no. All right, six. 
So I'm, I don't want to say too much here, but uh, we got Mike Pollard, we've got um, Alec Robbins, we've got past champions, Jacob Anderson. So there's some heavy hitters out here, Austin Mata. So basically there's a few pro class dudes and then kind of the touring dudes like myself. So see how we stack up out here. Man, I'm not going to lie, coming off of Ireland, being here, they are taking this pretty serious, dude. This was a pretty like tight meeting in the morning where uh, the whole Ireland show was just like, if you break something, we'll work with you, we'll figure it out. Here they're like, don't touch the car, they're going for it. So that $10,000 prize is on everyone's mind, you know? All right, Tito, not too much drama yet. Uh, tomorrow's forecast is like full sun. Sorry, wait for Jay. The Jay-Z gods. But tomorrow's forecast is all sun. There's just some random storm rolling through. So this was like our first practice. Not too much drama other than a little gearbox being funky. So we're gonna bleed the clutch and go from there, so. We're about halfway through the storm, so maybe we just keep chilling for another few hours. It's 40 minutes into practice, so we drive until 7 o'clock tonight. I'd rather it dry up and go burn some tires. We have too many in the shop. We had to get a new shop because we had so many tires. <laughs> I mean, I'll take some. Finally getting to uh, throw some laps down here. The rain's gone and we're getting some data off the track. So basically, I was feeling the car out and uh, usually here I can go one, two, three. Third gear was super loaded. So we were trying to decide, do we have too much grip in the car? What's the deal? So we're gonna check the rear end out. And just kind of go over our settings one more time. So a few clicks and we'll get back out there. It's like, uh, I mean, this track's slower than clutch kickers. If you still think it's not rotating fast enough, we'll add toe in the front. Okay. And then we'll mess with tire pressure after the 98 because I don't want to do it. Yeah. another gear change. I feel like 98 is right where we want to be. I think so too because fourth is like a little tall and like laggy. Third is tight and like, but at the same time, I enter in fourth and I'm like, I need to get on throttle to get out of the grass and I'm getting on throttle and I'm, it's like the track. Uh, you know, because the gearing basically is going to set me up for the angle that I can accomplish. So the gearing is too tall, so I'm going too wide. So I'm gonna, we're going to use my rear gear to keep me on track, on throttle. Feeling weird? The box was smoking a little bit. Like, 
When I sat in line, I could see it like puffing some smoke. There's a line. Yeah. Damn, Tito. That may not be a good thing. Dude, North Dakota does this, dude. Like, every time we've been here, I mean, we damn near stayed up all night last time with a wiring issue that was an injector issue. So that was two years ago. And now, possibly, we're having a throwout bearing issue, which will pull exhaust, gearbox, bell housing, clutch. Oh, thank you. I mean, that's not good, but you don't have a steering fluid. Oh, good. It's your steering. Good. Clutch is dry. Yeah! That's what we want to hear, Tito! I mean, because power it, steering is we have way... We rack, so that can get replaced really easy. Clutch, nothing. That's way less steps than a clutch. Yeah. We were going from either eating pizza tonight or lobster, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're getting lobster. We're getting lobster tonight. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, dude, look. No wait, way. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I took a peek earlier because I almost gave it to Kevin. Yeah. Oh, that's the GGS shirt. Oh, shit. Very nice. <laughs> In proper North Dakota fashion, we can't come out of here with some, some battle scars. So we are still on uh, Friday's practice. This is day one and we are swapping a rack, dude. So thanks to Sparky Built, we have a fresh new rack in the trailer, luckily. Uh, but I pulled back into the pits and we basically just realized the rack had blown out. So check this out. So these are S13 racks, of course. Actually, they're 14s or 13s? 13s. So these are S13 racks. And then basically Josh, throws custom paint on them. Uh, so here we have our tried and true purple. And here we have, I don't know if you guys can see this, dude. We've got a glittery, sparkly, I don't know, what do you, what do you coin this color? I don't know. Frost, uh, North Dakota frost. Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here we have a matching rack, thankfully in the trailer. Adrian's installing some new lines. Brandon's been doing all the labor, getting this thing out and in. Uh, Adrian's, Adrian, Adrian, he's sweating a little I bit. I work. He, he's, he's getting it, dude. He wants yeah, that lobster dinner, you know? Yeah, he <laughs> wants that mark after this. That's right. So these are the FDF outers, right? Yeah, they're called, uh, it's called a clevis. So these are the FDF clevises, right? Yeah. Clevi. And right now we're swapping a fitting because this one, it looks like we damaged it from just being in the trailer for so long. This right here. It seals. These seal up against in here, and that looks sketchy to me, so I'd rather swap it now than later. That was a uh, rain delay, power steering delay, final lap, favorite lap of the day. Today's Saturday, main day. Just waking up, getting here, first practice, right into all the battles. So I guess something to note is not that we want to do this by any means, but basically you have to lose twice to be out of the full comp. So they have a last chance bracket. So for some reason, if something doesn't go right and we do end up losing a battle, we then go to the last chance bracket, which we could then go all the way through that bracket to meet the dudes at the finals. So a kind of interesting competition. You don't really qualify, you draw out the bag like y'all seen, and then you have to lose twice to really lose. So it should be a long day with a lot of battles, so.
went from hero to zero. Uh, first battle, I guess to put it simply, it's like took a little bit of a easy route, which was the wrong move. Should have applied way more pressure and then kind of coming off track. We're having issues with the car that were just random, some ignition issues and fuel pump issues. So dude, North Dakota, like <laughs> what the heck? I feel like this place just really challenges us. So anyways, we're having a bunch of issues right now and uh, we're trying to figure this shit out. And if we don't figure it out, we may be out. Damn, we're gonna have to win like 58 battles to win this race, bro. We're gonna have to go from the loser's bracket, like we were talking about earlier, so we still are in the race, like we lost our first one. I wanna say this happened to me before, but we still have a chance, so we gotta beat the loser's bracket, and we gotta beat the winner of the winner's bracket. And all of it's possible, Tito, as long as we get this wiring issue figured okay, out. Okay. It's draining voltage. Is it? Yeah, it, it, that's why it's dying like that. The alternator's not doing anything right now. <laughs> Nope, not enough. You good? Yeah. actually get the wheel in it so enter in run my line and kind of like watch his line but not door him there get over the little berm good transition little hey up what up i'm here transition into three and then that's where it'll just yeah, be pushed the space to transition to exactly the and then right in front of the crowd it'd be cool to actually just put a door on a side skirt just so just enough to for tito to film this later and show the mark on his side skirt that'd be pretty cool oh yeah Man, all right, so catch you guys up. We're in the last chance like qualifier bracket. How do I word that? We're in the last chance bracket. We've lost the race, but we can still win the race. So we just had our first battle and I felt like uh, I was clicking way more into the pace and like the mindset I need. So that's good. I feel like I found that. Uh, but at the same time, we're starting to like get some feedback from the car. So our alternator is dying. Came off track with that one at like 10 volts. So. I'll I only know what that's doing to the power in the car overall. But anyways, the boys are on it. They've damn near got this thing swapped out. Next battle coming up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like AMP, it was so hot. Like, you all remember the video with AMP with Hurt? It was like so hot. 
and so gnarly and we drove the car so hard and here you know we're at a like a rad karting track and it's like the car is just fucking not, doing. not enjoying not it doing. it's like so we started with the water pump which you guys kind of missed in the videos uh but we did a water pump like the day we left i don't know if tito caught that uh then we arrived we did a power steering rack and then now we did an alternator and then now we're having trouble getting this thing to idle So we're making progress. We're finding our zone. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we're okay, dude. We're okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you're on AC right now. You gotta go to DC. Oh, that was under them. So yeah. Yeah. So finding the groove. Uh, third gear for Chase. Fourth gear for Lead. That last one was sick. I was deeper than him in one, and it felt really good because I was like, shit, he's deep. I'm deep. Wall. Hard, it's really hard to say. It's up to you guys on what you think. Let's just try this one again. Like, let's just try another one. I don't know if we have the time. Like, we need um, to. I have the bracket. How are we looking? Back to here. Okay. So we have these four, and then you guys are the sorry. last one here. So there's eight battles potentially. Fifty. So sixty-four. So ours is sixty-four. Yeah, 64. the sixty-four. What is? We're starting 57. at fifty-seven. There's always a five nine, minute. Sixty-one, two. one, two, three, four. You have seven. To How go. long does it take you to pull the alternator? We got it. We have last this one has the the thing, so it doesn't have to be that. We did it in like five, ten, twenty. If you can 30. get it in five, you can do it now before the battle. And if you have to swap another one out, just call it five. All right, in the run of show, we're at the point where we battle Cody Buchanan, who's a Formula Drift driver. Then from there, we'd have to beat the actual other side of our bracket. Then from there, we're on to the finals. So potentially one, two, and on to the finals. So three more battles. Let's get this, man. I'm in the, I'm in the groove right now. Car's been bumped, bent the raise. I'm ready, let's go.
Damn it, man. Competition can draw a lot of emotion out of you. For example, I had just lost to Cody Buchanan, who obviously is a Formula Drift driver and a very talented driver. But at the same time, I, in the car, felt like I had won the race, right? My timing, my transition timing. I really, really did feel that I was running a solid line and I kept up with him. So all to say, things don't always go your way. And in this case today, it did not go my way, which things have been going so well for us lately. I just assume this is what it takes, dude. You gotta go through these things. So with that being said, we are headed back to Texas. We are going to obviously get this car ready for its next stop, which would be the LZ World Tour in Canada. So we do have like a full month at home and I think we're getting closer and closer to talking more about the shop and kind of the behind the scenes of our shop again. So yeah, we'll see kind of uh, what's up for next week, but thanks for watching this vlog. Thanks for tuning in to all the new viewers. Uh, we appreciate you guys liking and subscribing in the comments. Love you guys. See y'all later. Oh, 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 oh,